Welcome to Research and Teaching and Learning 2, Assignment 3. This is our group presentation we have created as a working group of four students. Students are Katarina, Nugisha, Sheena and Shaza. Enjoy! As a working group of students, we have developed a presentation that integrates the findings from our individual literature reviews and data collection assignments. Together we evaluate how our literature reviews inform the design and in particular how the results of our individual data analysis inform our overarching question to our project. Teachers are always looking for professional development opportunities that can make a difference in their practice, connect to their lives as teachers and ultimately improve learning and instruction in their own classroom. But how can you do this, particularly given with the time pressures and other demands of teaching? Stay tuned to find out how action research can be beneficial for researchers within the education sector. As a group, we formulated an overarching question, which was how do you engage students that are disinterested in the subject and or classroom? The findings we develop and accumulate through the assignment will allow us to implement strategies relevant to our future classrooms. The conditions that lead to student engagement contribute to a safe, positive and creative school climate and culture. Given the serious consequences of disengagement, more and more educators and school administrators are interested in, in obtaining data on student engagement and disengagement for needs assessment, diagnosis and preventive measures. As a group, what did we learn from our collective literature reviews about our topic? There is variation in how student engagement is defined and measured. The term is generally used to describe meaningful student involvement throughout the learning environment. Thus, student engagement is best understood as a relationship between the student and the following elements of the learning environment, the school community, the adults of the school, the student's peers, the instruction and the curriculum. Bored in others. Student engagement is increasingly viewed as one of the key addressing the problems of low achievement, boredom, alienation, and high dropout rates. Student engagement is categorized in three groups behavioral engagement, emotional engagement, and cognitive engagement. This must be implemented together with ICT strategies within the classroom to generate a constructive learning environment where learners can engage with the content, take responsibility of their learning, and ultimately move towards meeting learning outcomes. Exploring the question, what is the importance of teaching students' creativity? The literature review led me towards comprehensive insights of how this is possible through creative learning. Research provided me with complete examples of how creative learning can be implemented within any subject area and not just limited to the visual arts classes. As young recommend, creativity is not just a gift that some possess, but it's something that can be cool. It becomes the way you think, see, and approach the world rather than what do you do. In teaching, we can have detrimental value on how students and teachers play with learning. Using creativity to approach all of our lessons to use a project with curiosity, interest, seriousness, meaning, and make it our own. main points. Important standing, acceptance, confidence, sense of identity and personal need. Find balance between direct and structural independent learning. Develop inquiry, engagement, discovery, application and evaluation. Use critical and creative thought processes together as one whole. Develop four dimensions of person, product, process and press. Use daily creative reflection in the form of visual diary. Use the knowledge of the present to teach the students to be investigative, creative and exploratory in their learning. Developments in the philosophy and education are at the forefront of these changes. We learned that there are several reasons why students are disengaged in the classroom. Factors include distrust and contempt for the educational system, lifestyle and personal issues at home, poverty and systems of support which are not stable. 
The literature review also showed that disengagement in the classroom was not always shown as hostility, but also as a sense of indifference. The data collection protocol carried out for this research was an online survey. The reasons for carrying out the research through surveys are the simple format and ease of access for all students. The survey for this research was specifically created for only students to participate in. So, what are some methods for student engagement within the classroom? Visual literacy is a concept of decoding images and being able to connect visual content to meaning as well as developing a schema based on association and personal experiences. Practical classes such as visual literacy are easy to build schema through visual literacy as the absorption of schematic memory is easily achieved and students in order to incorporate visual literacy within the classroom, the teacher must know what types of visual literacies exist. For example, concept mapping through videos and images to allow students to build association of the content could possibly enhance engagement. This may include the use of maps, diagrams, or even images. Secondly, in order to determine whether the visual literacy concept incorporating into the classroom does indeed enhance engagement, the results are essential to conduct the study. Three classes of 16 to 20 students were observed and the level of their enjoyment was observed as, along with their expression. Trying to engage the disinterested students can be quite difficult and that's why as a future educator it is important we know tips and tricks and methods to actually engage these types of students. Hence, as a group of students, we have decided to research four distinct topics that can relate to engagement in the classroom. What did we learn from our collective data analysis about our topic? During observation and from the data collection I had obtained from observations, I had concluded that students had utilised ICT in, as a tool to assist them with their education in order to produce, present and assist with instruction, so it allowed them to be learners of today's generation. where we talk about the action research study that we had undertaken. So we will be talking about ethical considerations, data collection, research questions and the data that we have obtained. The first question that we examined was a critical research on why students are disengaged in the classroom. High school students are often disengaged within the classroom, and the literature review was... The second question that we explored was, what is the impact on visual literacy-based learning on student engagement? The impact of visual literacy-based learning was explored. The third question that we explored was, as future educators of today's generation, how can we implement ICT within our classrooms to engage our students? Today's ever-changing society incorporates students becoming disinterested with paper and textbook-based classwork. As an educator, we must utilize ICT as a tool to engage students. What is the importance of teaching students' creativity? Not only are creative subjects selected by the students themselves, but they consist of students. All of these research questions discussed lead to one overarching question, which is how do you engage students that are disinterested in the subject and or the classroom? 
all researchers should consider ethical considerations when undertaking a fraction research study. So research that involves human subjects or participants raises unique and complex ethical, legal, social and political issues. Research ethics is specifically interested in the analysis of the ethical issues that are raised when people are involved as participants in as a group, we consider ethical considerations before taking out our research. So firstly, we wanted to start off with introducing ourselves to our participants and explaining the purpose of our research and why we were collecting such data from them and how their involvement was going to assist us in our study. As a group, we concluded that ethical considerations that could be undertaken in our study were introducing ourselves in the purpose of our research, explanation of the procedure and data collection, giving participants a consent form to ensure that this form is signed before, before proceeding and collecting the data. In regards to data collection and explaining this procedure to our participants, we had given them an explanation in regards to this. This was to allow that they were comfortable with how we were collecting our data and how their involvement would be affected in our data collection process. As a group, we did come to a conclusion stating that consent forms are to be given to participants where they fully understand what is going to be happening in our research, why it is occurring and how their involvement will assist us. So having these forms signed and handed back to us was quite important. 